Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking pretty rough because I was just asleep after a back shift, but today is Tuesday, January 18th, and normally on my first day off after back shift, I sleep as long as I can. I woke up around 11.30, I couldn't sleep any longer, so um, I made myself some breakfast. I have a bagel here with some blueberries, and I am watching a vlog on my computer. Um, so I'm just gonna watch this while I eat. I, for some reason, my back is really sore. And I was just after telling a lot of people that um, my back was fine. Um, it's been really good because I haven't had to, my old job I had to like lift people a lot and this job I don't. So I don't know what I did to it, but my back is really sore. It's hard to stay in one position. Like, but then it hurts if I move around too much at the same time, so um, anyways. So the plan for today is to just hang out. Um, I think Seamus and I are gonna watch a couple episodes of our show. Uh, so normally I have four days off. So Tuesday, Wednesday I'm off, but I picked up an overtime shift on the Thursday and then I'll be off Friday too. So so I'll bring you along with me on my days off and show you what we get up to. Okay guys, so a little while ago in the mail, I ordered um, a British candy box. And I thought that I just ordered like a one-time thing. I saw in my email a few weeks ago that it said, um, British candy box your subscription has been shipped and I didn't think that I signed up for a subscription but I guess I did so I just figured I'd let it come anyways and just see if it's the same box that I had before or if it's different so I'm gonna open it up so it looks the same inside um, I watch these people on YouTube um, their YouTube channel is this with them and they try out different candy from around the world, but they send out, they have a company that sells British candy. I'm just gonna show you as I open it. Okay, so it has this tissue paper. And, okay, so right off the bat, this is a different box altogether. I'm just gonna show you each thing. I've never had these before, Tangy Tangy Toms. Tomato flavored corn snacks. Walkers, seriously, salt and vinegar. So I think Walkers is the same as Lay's here. It looks very similar, like the branding. But I never I haven't had didn't have that one in the last box. And then these Walkers Sensations Thai Sweet Chili. Seamus would probably like these ones. And then the rest looks like chocolate and candy. So these are quality matchmaker minis, orange flavored. They look good. I've heard British YouTubers talk about this. It's a Nestle Lion Bar, but I've never had one. And these are jelly tots. They almost look like Sour Patch Kids, but just little balls. So we'll have to try those out. Uh, Chuppa Cups Cherry Sticks. It almost looks like a licorice type thing. Um, dairy Milk Fruit and Nut. We do have fruit and nut bars like this here in Canada. Um, I'm not a huge fan. This is my favorite bar. It's a Cadbury Twirl Bar. I sometimes get these at the Bulk Barn. Um, in, here in Canada, they do sell them at specialty food stores. Another one of those cherry sticks. This is a Cadbury Wisp of Gold. Looks like it has caramel inside. This is Nestle Munchies. I don't know what this is. They It feels like, um, maybe like Starburst package. I'm not sure. And then this is a Cadbury Chomp bar. Milk chocolate with caramel center, it says. These are drumstick soft chews, raspberry and milk. I think I had something similar to this in the last box. And then this is Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel. And I don't think we have these here in Canada. Or I've never had one. It just looks like a caramel bar. But that looks good. So, and then they normally put these um, PG Tips tea bags in. I'm not a tea drinker, but I do save them 
It comes with quite a lot in the box, so I will link it down below if you wanted to go get one yourself. Um, I just, I got the last, I got the last box to make a video about it, um, but I did, I don't think I included it in a video. We ended up just eating it before I <laughs> filmed anything, but um, we'll try some of these out and I will let you know which ones were our favorites. So we're all having a lazy day and I think what I'm going to do is watch a movie because she misses sleep. Chip's up here on the couch and my back is really sore. So we're just going to lay down and watch a movie. So it's a little bit later now. It's 5.36 and I'm on the way to get takeout. Seamus and I decided to get takeout tonight because we really have to go to the grocery store. But my back is just too sore to walk around a grocery store right now. So I am going to go through a drive-thru and go pick up his pizza. Um, I didn't do anything today. I literally just got in the shower and got changed to come out to get the food and we are probably going to relax and watch our show. We've been watching Blacklist together. There's like eight seasons and like 20 some episodes a season. So there's so many episodes and we really like it. So we've been watching that. I think we're on season three or something. So um, we'll probably watch a few episodes of that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know that where my back hurts, I should be moving, but I took Tylenol and stuff and I just, I don't, I can't do it. So today is my relaxed day. I will clean the house and maybe do some kind of exercise tomorrow. I just, I don't know. Okay, so I got the pizza. Seamus wanted, I think it's a spicy chicken pizza, I think. And now I'm just gonna head over to get in the McDonald's drive-thru. Could I have a 10 nugget meal please with sweet and sour sauce and an iced tea? Thank you. Morning guys, it's Wednesday. I've been awake for like an hour now, but I can't get out of bed because Chip is laying on top of me and I feel bad moving. <laughs> Big stretch. So it's Wednesday. I had Chip for a walk and um, had some breakfast got in the shower so now I'm just headed to the bank to deposit some money and then I do have to go to Walmart and Seamus needs something at Home Depot and instead of both of us going in I decided I'll just go it's a Wednesday afternoon so I hope it's not too busy um, with the kids in school and everything but if it's not too busy I might go to Winners Okay, so I'm finished at Walmart. It was pretty busy there. I didn't stay too long. I just got like grocery things. We needed um, some paper plates and I got some of those like healthy choice frozen meals to have in the freezer just in case. Um, we're expecting our chef's plate box today. So I didn't get anything for like meals. I just got like snacky things and stuff like that. So I got, anyways, I'll show it all when I get home, but I'm just running into winners now. Um, I'm looking for a gift for somebody. And then um, there's a Dollarama here right across from me and I might go in there because I want to get a couple spice jars um, and I know they have them cheap at the dollar store. Okay, so I got what I wanted at um, the dollar store. I just wanted a couple of these spice jars. And now last stop is Michael's. I'm just in the parking lot here. So I'm gonna go in and look. Um, I don't need anything specific. This on my forehead's gotta go. Um, I don't need anything specific in Michael's, but I'm just gonna look. This pimple on my forehead is driving me nuts. It's not even a pimple anymore, it's like a scar. And I just want it to go away. Okay, heading into Michael's. So I just got a really good deal at Michael's. My glasses are all fogged up from the mask. Okay, 
So it's January now, so all the Christmas stuff is normally gone from Michael's, but whatever was left at Michael's from Christmas is 75% off. And I was looking to buy one of these online and they're like 20 some dollars. But this is a ornament box organizer and it was $24.99 and I got it for I got it for $7.19. So I was gonna buy one online but that one's way cheaper. So I'll just put it downstairs with my Christmas stuff and then next year when I take everything out of the box, um, I'll have this ready to put my ornaments in. So that was a good deal. So I think I'm finished up for now and I'm gonna head home and I'll show you everything I got once I get home. Okay, so I'm home. I'm just gonna show you everything I got before I put it away. I'm gonna start with the grocery store stuff so I can put that in the fridge. Um, I went to Home Depot first, actually. Seamus needed these um, suction cup things, but I got some Clorox wipes when I was in there. And then I got these at the dollar store. It's just this little spice dress that I wanted. Okay. And then at Walmart, I got um, Tostitos Thin and Crispy Chips. And I got... My mom wanted me to pick her up some um, nail polish remover with acetone. Now that I can paint my nails for work, I am going to paint them this pink color. I don't know. This is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel and it's in the color Rose and Shine. And then I just bought the top coat. And I also got these for Seamus and I to try. It's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but it says it has like a marshmallow top. But I think it's just like a marshmallow flavored top. Anyways, I'm gonna try those later. My mom also wanted some nine volt batteries. So I got those. And I didn't specifically need these for anything right now, but I'm obsessed with like containers and stuff to organize things. So these were at Walmart for a set of three for $7, I think, or $7.99. So pick those up. And grab some paper plates. And then I got this Swiffer heavy duty pet mopping cloths. I have a Swiffer, but I normally vacuum and just mop, but um, when Chip brings dirt in, if it's just here on this section of the floor, I don't really need to mop the whole floor if I just mopped it. So I got these, they might be helpful to spot clean the hardwood floor. So like I was saying, we're supposed to get our chef's plate delivered today. So I didn't get like meal things, but I got these frozen healthy choice steamers. I like to have some of these in the fridge um, to take to work if we don't have any leftovers. And this one is just a sweet chicken. This one is just a sweet sesame chicken. And this one is beef merlot. Never tried that one. So those will go in the freezer. And then I got some raspberries, yellow peppers, shredded cheese, a thing of milk. Seamus has been having cereal lately, so I got some more milk, uh, cucumber. I got some Honeycrisp apples, a couple of bananas. I wanted to get a few more, but they were looking pretty rough. So I got three bananas. And then I got two of these salads. I like to take these to work too. Um, they're the Fresh Attitude Spring Mix Salad. It has cranberries and almonds and apples in it. And they were like two for, two for seven something. So got those. And then, I just got some pudding. I just got these ones originally and then I thought Seamus would like these, so those. And that's everything for the groceries. I'm gonna put the stuff in the fridge and then I'll come back and show you what I got at Winners. And then I do have a few Amazon things here that I'll show you. Okay, so then at Winners, I got these two tea towels that have Mickey Mouse on them, and they were $9.99. And then I got this macadamia hair mask. I don't know if it's the same one I used to use, but I couldn't find it for a while, and it's like they changed the branding, but I got that. That was, it's kind of expensive. It was $19.99, but it does last me a really long time because I only use it like a little bit in my hands to condition my hair. And then, 
two things in here are presents, so I'm not going to show you those. And then I have these two Amazon boxes. Start with this bag. <laughs> Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. And then this is a gift too. I'm not going to show you what that is. <laughs> the only thing in this massive box are these Violita mop head things. They're new mop heads for my spin mop. It's just a better deal to buy them on Amazon. They were like, I think there's four of them in here. It was much cheaper than buying them at Walmart. I might have shown a clip of it when I was in Winners in my cart, but I got two pillows for the couch because I think Chip, <laughs> yeah, he's already trying to bite them, but I think Chip will eat, just lay on them and leave them alone. And he was, when he was a puppy, he would r try to rip everything. So we haven't had, um, we haven't had couch cushion, like pillows on our couch for the longest time. But I figured that these would be good because they're similar color to him and they still have like a gray on them so they'll match the couch. And they do have like a zip up, a zip cover so I can take it off and wash it. So I got two of them. We, it's a sectional so it's not, gonna, it's not gonna look like much with just two, but I figured I'd try two before I bought a bunch and if Chipper wins them. Yeah. Put them on the couch and see what they look like. Okay, so they're on the couch and Chip is already trying to get them, but this couch cushion is messed up. But there's dog hair all over our couch and it's kind of gross, but we uh, haven't had pillows on for the longest time. We have like a gray on the wall and a gray couch it's a bit too gray but these pillows are like a creamy gray color so I th they're big and they'll be comfortable you're gonna leave them alone you're gonna leave the pillows alone yeah so if they do get dirty from him we will just pop them in the washer Hey guys, so we are home. It's five to eight now. We are at my mom's for supper. We were expecting our chef's plate box tonight and it never came, so we went to my mom's for supper. They said it would be delivered on the 19th and that's today's date, but they didn't deliver. Anyways, we went to my mom's and we had chicken and fish and salad and potatoes and broccoli and stuff. Um, and I just got home and washed my face, put my little pimple patches on. <laughs> and I'm just, um, I'm picking up an overtime shift tomorrow, so I am just packing packing my lunch. I am bringing this salad that I got at Walmart today. This little lemon pudding and an apple. And I think I'll put a, it's a 12 hour shift, so I'm just gonna put a granola bar in there too. And that'll be it. So I think James and I are gonna watch a couple episodes of The Blacklist. And then we'll head to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I didn't vlog anything today because I worked all day. Um, I picked up an overtime shift. And when I got home, Seamus cooked supper. We had a chef's plate, um, burgers and potatoes. I'll insert a picture here. And then we watched our show, Blacklist, for a few episodes. Um, and then um, we got a tiny bit of snow. So Seamus had to go out and plow a few places. So it's 25 to 11. I am tired, but I'm not quite ready for bed. But I'm in bed and I'm just going to start reading this new book, Local Woman Missing. I bought this at the bookstore when I was waiting for my other book to come in. Um, but it actually came in first, so I read that one. And now I'm just going to start reading this one. And yeah, and then Chippy and I are going to go to bed. Seamus will probably be home soon. There wasn't much snow, so... Hey guys, it's Friday. This is my last day off in my rotation before I go back to work tomorrow. So I'm trying to be productive today. I called and canceled our cable because we stream everything online right now. I'm with Seaside, I don't know if anyone lives where I live, but I'm with Seaside. Um, I just picked them originally because that's who my parents were with. 
um, but <clears throat> they don't have they don't have fiber off internet but I was on like the middle internet package so I canceled the cable and put it at the highest internet so it's still cheaper than what I was paying because I got rid of cable but um, we're gonna try the higher internet at Seaside before I switch to Bell um, we'll see how that goes I have to go to a few different stores and then I might get some lunch so I went to Giant Tiger looking for pajamas and I found a pair I got a pair it's not Giant Tiger isn't typically a place I would get pajamas but in one other vlog I think I showed I got this soft pair of pajamas it had a weird print on it but they were soft and they had pockets and that's all I can so I got these soft pajamas with pockets and a few other things and now I'm just trying to decide where to get something to eat for lunch so I'm at Wendy's getting it Wendy's for lunch I'm just in the drive-thru. The Wendy's drive-thru is usually pretty busy at lunchtime because the dining room still isn't open. Okay, got my chicken strips. But before I eat those, I'm gonna show you what I got at Giant Tiger first. I got this sweater. It's just like a crew neck sweater, but it's longer. It's like a longer, it's hard to explain. You can wear it with leggings kind of thing. Anyways, nice blue color. And these are the pajamas that I got. Not a big fan of the print of them, but I got the lighter one just because of dog hair. Um, oh, the sweater was $15 and these pajamas were $14 and they have pockets. They're really soft. Excuse me while I lock my door when people walk by. They're really soft and they have like a tighter cuff around the bottom. And then the pockets have a little pink lace. thought that was cute. I buy these chocolate bars every time I see them because I feel like they're hard to get. Um, Cadbury Dairy Milk Mini Eggs. Seamus and I really like them, so I got one for each of us. And then I bought these um, Peeps. I love Peeps. These are so controversial. You either love them or you hate them. I'm a big marshmallow fan and Peeps are great. And they're covered in sugar, so obviously that's the best choice. And then the other things are just boring things. I got um, Lysol disinfectant spray. I got, And then I got shaving cream for Seamus and I. It was seemed cheaper there than Walmart, so I got it there. And then the last thing was just this big bottle of Dawn dish soap. If you saw it, it was a, it's the bigger bottle. The Dawn dish soap was $3.97, and I feel like the, that big of a bottle would be more in the grocery store. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, yeah. So I'm going to eat my Wendy's chicken strips and then I'm going to head home because I have to edit this video. Um, sorry to everyone that's here for the baking content and I haven't been doing any baking or any kind of cake decorating but hopefully you'll see some of that soon. I do plan on doing a some kind of a cupcake sale for Valentine's Day I think. My schedule is looking like it's going to work out to allow me to do some cupcakes for Valentine's Day so I will be filming that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to be vlogging and then on my next four days off, hopefully I'll throw some baking in. Uh, if you do enjoy my vlog videos, you can let me know down below and let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. But that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Scroll down, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me. Thanks so much for watching.